So the vision set out to, and now the building will, bring together 300 biomedical researchers to fight human infectious diseases. So for the first time, it's going to bring together microbiologists in both the medical school and life sciences into the same laboratory area. It's going to really springboard the way that we can do science, interdisciplinary science in the future. So IBRB is a six storey new build. It has three floors of laboratory space with an open plan write up space attached to it. Attaching that is three great big moving atriums, which then links down to the entrance area. Our brief originally was to be to to inspire future researchers and potentially for better recruitment also so we can create world-class research in the building. The scheme was originally briefed as being a centre of excellence and the, uh, and the enabler for collaboration between two faculties within the university. This is a major strategic advance in the way that we can do science, in the way that we can collaborate with other people, particularly in the medical school. So the ground floor and the atrium spaces are a public area where 400 people can use the lecture theatre. They can break out into some smaller areas, again public spaces, soft seating, nice collaborative learning spaces. It's just going to be a quantum leap in what we do, how we do it and how we collaborate. It's going to be fantastic. So IBRB is very unique for its off-site manufacture and modern methods of construction. Off-site was always the university's challenge to us to achieve 50% of the cost of this scheme manufactured off-site. The off-site elements of the scheme were really important to us, particularly because it's quite a confined area. So having pre-assembled components brought to site was a real bonus for us. So we set about a journey of a precast concrete frame, a timber frame, with two facade solutions, one being aesthetic concrete cladding with pre-installed windows and then the south elevation, the main feature elevation of the building being the unitised bronze glazing delivered to Warwick and assembled in a few weeks rather than the traditional 12 to 15 weeks. By doing pre-assembled components here on our live campus has meant much less disruption for our users. The sustainability highlights for the project were the carbon emissions saved with the reduction in deliveries to site. We had a innovative PV vertical panel plant screen. The third being energy synergy which working collaboratively with the university for the next 12 to 18 months will bridge the performance gap and drive down the energy costs. I think the working in collaboration has worked really well and it's really been a can-do attitude from both sides wanting to get the best outcome for the project. So by collaborating with the university's team of engineers, teams of project managers, we've produced what we believe to be a world-class facility and some world-class products that have never been produced before to the scale that we have done at IBLB. It's just such an exciting, modern, wonderful new building to move into. I'm so excited about moving there. Our mission was to deliver a world-class building to enable um, exceptional research to be done. Um, and I think we've achieved that. The building just speaks for itself. It's going to be a truly immersive biomedical experience.